A massive settlement is approved in the wrongful conviction of three men known as the Harlem Park Three. Baltimore's spending board approved the nearly $50 million settlement in a decades-old homicide case. Fox 45's Maxine Stryker joins us live with a closer look at what this means for taxpayers. Maxine? Well, the Harlem Park Three spent a combined 108 years behind bars and are each now being awarded about $15 million in a settlement approved today by the city's Board of Estimates. Now, their case, it dates back to 1983 for the murder of DeWitt Duckett, a 14-year-old who was shot at Harlem Park Junior High School. Alfred Chestnut, Ransom Watkins, and Andrew Stewart were convicted of his murder and sentenced to life in prison. Then in 2019, state's attorney at the time, Marilyn Mosby, reinvestigated the case and at least two of the eyewitnesses recanted their testimony. The Harlem Park Three were released on November 25th of that year after spending 36 years in prison. Now in 2020, the three men filed suit against two Baltimore police detectives claiming that they had coerced and fabricated witness statements and identifications. Baltimore Police Chief Legal Counsel today saying because it happened so long ago, it was nearly impossible to corroborate or refute the plaintiff's allegations and this $48 million settlement was ultimately the best option for the city. David Williams with the Taxpayers Protection Alliance says it does come at the expense of taxpayers, though. Bad and corrupt policing has its consequences with public safety, but also now we see that it has consequences with taxpayers when you see this sort of payout. And that's why the police need to be more responsive and understanding of what happens when you have corruption inside the police department. Now, the Board of Estimates, they did bring up concerns about the financial risk that this brings to the city. Uh, this is the second wrongful conviction case, according to BPD's chief long legal counsel that they've settled. They say three are still on active appeal and one is still being litigated, meaning that it's likely more settlements are coming down the road. Reporting live in Baltimore, Maxine Stryker, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.